Okay, this is good, right here, okay. Uh, a shock of snowy hair doth grace the dome of albinus rhinus. <laughs> you know, I know, it sounds awful. It sounds so, everything sounds so close to anus. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, le the leader of this troop of miscreant and nincompoops. Bastard. <laughs> Yet every time I watch, they never fail to entertain us. With japes and puns of plenty and drinking lots of beer to boot. The reverend is evil. He has plans of domination. The cartoon is a fun grenade of total decimation. The boy Chuck is the wheezing one with cutting puns of joy. The Kenneth is a full-grown man, but inside he's a ball. <laughs> the Paul is just the Paul, and he will punch you in the face. The Jean Paul is the normal one who always carries The mace. normal one. Imagine well, that, eh? Right. Yeah, <laughs> I know the normal one. Slurring drunk as regular. Um, oh, wait, he's Irish, right? No, he's Italian. Italian. Well, I thought he was Italian. No, 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 the one who wrote this. Oh, no. yeah. But no? close. Oh, well, I was going to say, because if it was, it would be normal. Uh, <laughs> the commander is beautiful, yet only likes crap beer. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and the mighty Habinus Rhinus is the reason I am here, writing crappy drunken poetry, drinking lots of beers. So it's time the urban Viking wrapped this up and shouted cheers. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> Good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albine Rhino Beer Review. Kenneth, Rhino. We have another beer from the Dead Frog Brewing Company. We have the Dead Frog Mandarin Orange Amber Ale. Mandarin Orange Amber Ale. It's from BC. 5% um, alcohol. We had to send Boychuck on a field trip to get this. I think they should put a third color in the name. Yeah? There is a third color. Well, no, you're right. Okay, Mandarin Orange Amber Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Let's pour the drink. You're tired tonight, aren't you, Chad? I'm always tired. Yeah. I got my Christmas hat on. See, I'm pointy like a Christmas tree and I have a star on top. No, the star's not on top, it's on the middle. Okay, yes, okay, you're right. It is the middle. But it's kind of crooked, too, so it is. I'm wearing it at a jaunty angle. Pour your beer. Save some for the chuck. <sighs> Woo! Chuck! <laughs> that actually smells orangey. It smells very orangey. Mandarin-y. Like yeah. the canned mandarins. I ate like 7,000 mandarin oranges over the last four days. So, so good. Yeah. Pretty good. It smells really good. Let's try it. Oh, that's nice. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I'd like it throughout the night, but this, this one, I really do. Somebody slap James when they go up there, riling up the mutts. It does have a lot of mandarin flavoring to it. Yep. It has the bitter peel. And then it has, just like the last one, it kind of has like the Euro lager finish. It, it, the orange taste, though, is almost like... Chinese food orange sauce. It's you just, there. You have a thing with sweet and sour sauce, eh? I do. Do I? This is like the fourth time you brought up Chinese red sauce. Really? Wow. I, apparently, I have a thing for red sauce. I enjoy red sauce. I'd put it on my steak if I could get away with it. But I don't necessarily enjoy this. Now, now that you've said that, I can actually taste it, and that kind of saddens me. <laughs> Did I wreck your beer? The beer was better, and now I'm thinking of Chinese red sauce as I drink it, and I can actually see the similarities now. No, that's what you bring me, right? Fuck! <laughs> I wrecked the beer! Hey, do you have any Chinese orange sauce here? No. Because we could pour some in to see if it improves the flavor. I, I suppose, I'd suppose the Dead Frog Beer Company would get upset if we vandalized their beer like that, but... I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's not bad. It's not good. I probably wouldn't buy it again, but it's, it is different. For all my kind of negative stuff that I've been throwing here, it, it's okay. I, I don't know. I give it a 5. Like it, the, the beer background is good. The orange, which I know is the whole point, it does kind of throw me off. It's kind of chemically to me. Yeah? It's like they got essence of orange from a tube and sprayed it in. Excuse me. Well, I gave it a six, and you gave it a five. So I mean, 
I'd drink it it's again. It's worth a try. I'd drink it again. I'm not like throwing it across the room or anything. I'm keeping these away from you. Why? You know why. <laughs> anyway, so a five and a six. Thank you for watching the Albino Rhino beer review. Good beer drinking, obvious. Bye bye. Where did you get that one? Yes. <laughs> 20 bucks. <laughs>